what's a university, what's the meaning of a university, where are we going, and uh, in the opening of this uh, final session of the day, I would like to share with you something which happened during my uh, mandate as a Minister of Education in Romania, December 2012, December 2014. As a minister, you attend a lot of meetings, high-level meetings, and one of the meetings was in Brussels, the Council of Ministers of Education, and uh, having their ministers or deputy ministers for all European unions, and I heard during the meeting a lot of uh, statements from different colleagues saying we have to change our uh, educational systems, our schools in order to serve the labor market. I graduated teacher training. I studied a lot about education, history of education, pedagogy and so on. But this statement was not, not necessarily the statement with a, a comfortable statement for me. But I said nothing. Being the first meeting for me in the council, I didn't know the, let's say, the uh, rules of such kind of meetings. But two weeks later, I attended in Istanbul another ministerial meeting, this time organized by UNICEF, having ministers not just from Europe, the European Union, but also for other countries. And I heard exactly the same statement. And I asked for the floor. And I said, you know, as a student in a teacher training program, I learned about the definition of education. And uh, what we are talking here doesn't fit with the definition of education. And you know, for 150 years, this would be a little bit in conflict with the, this video, the definition of education has not changed because I was scanning different definitions in different countries in different moments. And more or less, the definition is something like this. To serve society and to make citizens from our <coughs> students, to assure the personal development of our students <laughs> and the labor market. So I'm not against the idea, but to put the education just on one pillar instead of three, that will be a disaster. What has changed? Has changed the meaning of citizenship, the meaning of personal development, and the meaning of labor market. Because 150 years ago, citizenship represented Romanian citizenship. Today it's a confusion. We are not sure if it's about Romanian, European, uh, European Union or global citizenship. Personal development 150 years ago, a daughter or a boy were inspired by parents, families, a priest. Now our kids could be inspired by everyone in the world looking at such kind of uh, video. And labor market we know 150 years ago was a local maybe national labor market, today it's a global labor market. So that means we have to ask constantly ourselves what's the meaning of education. And maybe if we are able to get the appropriate answer, maybe we'll be able to understand the future of education.